Hallelujah. Praise God today. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is so good. Um, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. And um, when you see this, I pray that your day may be more blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless you. If you can receive that, it, it's going to happen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All glory to God. Um, right here it says, um, I want to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. And it says, For we know that if our, our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. So, you know, there's a hope we have in Christ. I like the way he puts it there, that we have a building with God, not made with hands at this earthly tabernacle dissolved so you know we just know that death no more has dominion over us it's, it's such a wonderful thing to know that death no longer has a dominion over us like we're not worried we shouldn't worry about death because we have another house made not with hands by god by his promise and he sent us that holy spirit to confirm that promise in us and to encourage each other in these things, you know, to set our mind on those heavenly things, to set our mind on those wonderful things, because Jesus is coming and we must be ready for him because he being ready for him does a lot of things. Glory be to God. It says be, be at the door. That way you can open up to him, you know, and what does that mean? That means be ready, you know, waiting on him, watching and praying to him. You know, I, I encourage everyone to do that, not just one person. <laughs> You know, we should always be praying, always be focused on the Lord. He, he's going to make a way for us. In the Bible, it says we all should. He's talking to all of us. He's not just talking to some of us. So I want to encourage you today just to stay in fellowship with the Lord Jesus. And the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse you from all sins. You know, it, it cleanses you because you're in fellowship with him. And when you're in fellowship with him, you know he's your husband. And you know if he's your husband and he's watching you all the time, you don't want to do wrong to your husband. And so you admit things to your husband. You don't try to hide them from him. You want a good relationship with your husband. We're his bride. And how do we remain a, a genuine relationship with our, our, our husband, which is the one that watches us all the time, which is the head of us? His name is Jesus. And when we watch, if he's watching us always and we admit the things that we do wrong so he can change it because we want a genuine relationship with him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Think about those things, you know, don't get all religious, get in relationship with him, get, get in um, a genuine relationship with him. Don't hide nothing from him. You can't hide it anyways. When you admit it, he can pardon you from it and cleanse you from it. God bless you.